Hey Twisters, uh, Adam Twin Studios, personal training. So, one of the most commonly asked questions for me is how to do kettlebell swing properly. Now I see lots and lots of people come from various different gyms, classes, what have you, that swing their techniques really badly. But when they come to me, they say they can already do kettlebell swings, uh, they've already done the classes. So I just want to break everything down for you, uh, in, you know, from my opinion, what, how I'd teach somebody the three different techniques from kind of beginner level when you're just starting out uh, kind of intermediate and if you're really good at them going more advanced level and obviously as you go through the stages put that little bit more pressure on the back and it requires a little bit more timing so what we need to do is make sure that we're absolutely nailed the different phases throughout okay so to start off with kettlebell swings the way I personally start is to get someone to do a squat style kettlebell swing. Okay, that's the easiest style to get them to. do not require much flexibility in, uh, in the hamstrings. So, from here, coming to get it. Now, this is an eight kilo kettlebell. What I'd probably say is start with a four or potentially a six, okay? But don't spend too long on that weight. Reason being, the life of things like kettlebell swings and big power momentum movements, you can bring up bad habits. So you'll start using, rather than using the momentum of your hips, you'll start using arm strength just to lift the weight, okay? So we want to develop that right technique, so using the swing, so try and move up to like at least an eight kilo fairly soon. So big power movement, you should have to lift quite heavy in the movement. So, the squat style kettlebell swing. Okay, so I'll show you from here what we're gonna do. We're gonna drive the kettlebell through the legs. Okay, in fact, I'll take it away for now. We're gonna drive the kettlebell through the legs, drive forward, and all I want you to do is raise the kettlebell slightly above your shoulders. Okay, as it's coming down, come with the kettlebell at the last minute, squat, push those hips back. So from this position, as it's coming down, squat through there, okay? Got a nice strong core, nice and safe in here, and then as you're coming up, you're gonna stand up, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the butt, in here, and back down, allowing it to swing, so it should never stop the flow at all, so it shouldn't be really tense in here, and then lifting up, okay? It should flow naturally, hence why you can lift quite heavy on the way. So, just to start off with, we're gonna go eight kilos, Starting position, feet shoulder width, arms nice and straight, arms don't do anything apart from guide the movements. So you're not straightening and bending the arm. From here, drive, squat, drive, squat, drive. So it's coming through. I could practically, and I don't want you to do this, let go of the weight. I'm not using the power from my arms at all. Let go of the weight if I want to. In here, so squat, drive, squat, drive. Always keep your head up, breathe out the top. Last rep, stand up, put the weight down, straight back. I see a lot of the time people do this on the last rep. Make sure you bend your knees, put the weight down. Stage one. Now we're going to move on to stage two, so less squat, so we activate more on the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower back, okay, so we're going to, all we're going to do, exactly the same thing, but rather than coming down here, we're just going to push those hips back slightly, so not here, just here. What it will do is you should feel the hamstrings engaged, so mine are quite tight at the moment, from here and here, lean, push your butt right back as far as you can, keeping your chest up, head up, and drive through. So the same thing in there, but this position, as opposed to this position, okay? So it's less on the hamstrings when you're doing a squat technique, okay? But it does force that posture. Now, if we move too quick or if we try and go too heavy, what will happen is this. You'll have a kettlebell, and rather than doing a catch in this position, where everything's nice and fired up and ready for the drive, it will do this, okay? You do not want to let the kettlebell pull you down. You want to stay in control of the kettlebell work the movement. So, a no-no, okay, I'm only gonna do this once, okay. If from here, driving up and allowing it to pull you down, 
okay? You should never see an arch in your back. You want to catch the movement at the back in here. Hamstring is nice and tight, driving your hips back, drive through the movement. So, from in this position, always breathing out the top, everything's nice and tight at the top. Last rep, stand up. So, you should see a lot less squat and a lot more hamstring activation. Okay, so that's phase two, and that is the main phase used in kettlebell swings. Okay, once people are ready. The last one, okay, activates the hamstring even more, but it puts a lot more pressure on that lower back. Okay, and if you've got tight hamstrings, don't do this for now. Work out the hamstring movement first. So, the last one, you're gonna, at the last second, rather than coming here, you're gonna Flick your hips up. Again, still having a nice straight back, but the hamstring now really being pulled. Okay, so you're looking at a lot of fall through those hamstrings. Great movement, but it takes a lot of practice, okay? And timing, timing's key really. So from here, at the last minute, coming through, coming through, coming through, flick back into there, so legs almost straight, and then drive through. Just this movement, there, up. So we can get the kettlebell in here, drive through the hips, so it's still the same as before, but you're just activating even more through those hamstrings rather than just kind of first percent if you like, throughout the glutes, hamstrings and lower back, okay? so. To bring all three together, we've got a squat in here, squat, second movement come in now. This is the one I will favour myself and the clients. And the last one, in there, last rep, control. Now, Weights, what weights to use? Personally, a good weight, what you want from kettlebell swings is at the end of 15 reps, say, 20 reps, your heart rate's going, you're breathing heavy, you're sweating, and so on. In here we've got 12, 16 kilos. Try and build up to the 16 kilos at least. Male or female doesn't make a difference. 16 kilos is a good weight. 20 kilos, once you've been doing it for a while, to get your heart rate going and so on. Now, why use kettlebells? Kettlebell swing is fantastic. It uses lots, uses the core, stop you collapsing in there. Obviously, hamstring, glute, lower back, engage at the bottom. Now through the core, activates the hips, opens up the hip flexors, works a little bit into the shoulders as well. So, we've hit a lot of muscle groups, especially the big ones as well. Burns a lot of calories and gives that total body explosive movement. Also builds up and puts you in a good position for deadlifts, cleans and so on as well. So good practice, great calorie burner, total body exercise. So again, last time, squat, swing, stage one. Once you get used to that, slight bend in your knees, push your hips back, keep your chest up. So it's still like a 45 degree angle from your back, drive through. Last one, you're trying to make your back parallel to the floor. You leave it to the last minute, coming through, coming through. As soon as the weight's about to hit your legs, flip your hips back, back a lot lower, chest up, still a flat back. Now drive through, okay? Try it, give it a go. As I said, start with four to six kilos. Quickly move up to eight if you can, if you've got the technique right, that you're targeting. 16 kilos for around 20 to 25 reps, my personal opinion. Straight after that, if you're really good at it and you've been practicing a while, the 20s, even the 24s, at the end of your set, if you're doing 12 reps, 15, 20, you should be breathless and you should feel a bit worked and a little bit fatigued. Enjoy it, guys. I'll see you soon. Take care.